The O'Connell County man who was arrested for allegedly stalking singer-songwriter Jewel is speaking out to Fox 11. Michael Kozelka says he approached Jewel's property in Stephenville, Texas to bring her a movie script. Kozelka called Fox 11 today to offer his side of the story. Laura Smith has more in this Fox 11 follow-up. When Texas authorities arrested Michael Gazelka on Jewel's property, they said the 51-year-old told them he was on a mission from God. But Gazelka tells Fox 11 he was simply on a spiritual journey across the U.S. when he got into trouble in Texas. Gazelka says he wants to be a Catholic priest and was visiting churches. But then he decided to stop by a celebrity's home. I thought of Jewel and Ty um, because of the, you know, their TV programs and, and all that stuff. And with me, I had a extremely rough draft of a movie script called Generational Curses and Spiritual Death. Kazelka says he drove around Stephenville trying to find Jewel's ranch and approached the home even though a nearby relative said the singer was not there. I made it all the way to the house, knocked on the door, yelled first before I got too close to the house. Nobody answered, so I got closer to the house. I knocked on the door, rang the doorbells, and, and then I sat down because nobody answered. Erath County authorities say Gazelka visited Jewel and husband Ty Murray's home two consecutive days. Deputies say when they arrested him, he had a knife in his clothing and a dog by his side. The district attorney charged Gazelka with stalking and says an investigation found he had significant mental health issues. It was just uh, very worrisome for the Murray family and for Jewel having this guy drive down from Wisconsin that they've never talked to before. Uh, park outside their ranch and walk into their ranch house. I agreed not to prosecute him if he would get if he got the treatment and didn't come back and bother him. Gazelka says mental health professionals found him paranoid and schizophrenic, a diagnosis he doesn't agree with. He tells Fox 11 he was released from treatment Wednesday. Now he says he is sorry for what happened at the ranch. I'm not a stalker. Uh, I wasn't wielding a knife. Uh, my dog's not ferocious. Um, it was. You know, I, I had no idea I was going to end up in Stephenville, Texas. It's just how the road trip went. The district attorney says he's satisfied with how the case wrapped up, but adds if Kazelka shows up at Jewel's ranch again, there will be problems. Jewel has made it clear, crystal clear, that he's not to have any more contact with it. want to have anything to do with his supposed movie deal or anything else he's got going on. Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. Kazalka is now in Oklahoma and says he's not sure whether he will return to northeast Wisconsin. Jewel and her husband, Ty Murray, did not respond to our request for comment today.